Adams. Thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, today, we're going to be sharing a little bit, of course, about who we are as the team, but also sharing a little bit about what the advantages are of a team-based support here at Helping Hands, which makes us a little bit unique in the doula sphere, um, and why you might want to be working with us, and if you already are, what to get excited about. So we will be talking, like I said, about getting to learn more about us as the team, but we also have one of our favorite parts of the entire night is our breakout rooms. So that's where the session is not recorded. It's private one-to-one. -one. You get your own private room. You get to be in the comfort of your pajamas with some snacks and you get to meet the doulas here at Helping Hands, kind of like speed dating, but without the pressure, getting to know a little bit more about us, what makes us tick, and um, asking any of your burning questions. So let's get started. So to start us off for the evening, we have Sharon Clements, one of our postpartum doulas, extraordinaire. Take <laughs> it away, Sharon. Thanks, Jess. Hi, everybody. Yes, I'm Sharon, and I have been with Helping Hands probably eight plus years. Jess uh, would probably know that better than me, but uh, for quite a while, and I do a postpartum, mostly evening shift um, with, with my families. So um, the thing that I find is one of the most beneficial points of working with a team like Helping Hands is that we have... Um, basically group trainings so that you're getting consistency in your support, um, no matter which one of the doulas comes to support you. And I have two examples of that um, that I, I want to share. And that is that, um, first of all, is um, that your feeding systems, how you choose to feed your baby. Uh, we work with one of the best um, lactation consultants in the city, Shelly, and she does a lot of our trainings for us. So uh, you're getting the same information consistently, no matter which doula shows up. Um, Shelly does all the research for us. She takes all the courses. She reads all the books. She keeps us up to date. And so we know that we are giving you the most accurate and um, science-based information. And I've gone to a few families where the birth parent has been so frustrated because she's getting conflicting information from um, an LC at the doctor, from the doctor, from the nurse, from all angles. She's getting conflicting information and sometimes even feeling a bit bullied with her feeding choice. And so the good thing about working with Helping Hands is we're here to help you with whatever your decision is. And you're going to get consistent information from all of us at Helping Hands. There's no, well, she said this and they said that. We are here to help you with your decision and you um, can rest assured that you're going to be getting the most up-to-date and accurate information. And also, if you do feel like you would like um, private consultation, Shelly is also available to do private consultations with feedings. And it's not just breastfeeding um, or um formula feeding or chest feeding or bottle feeding. Um, Shelly's very open to any feeding system that works for you and your family. So that's one of the really uh, big bonuses I find about Helping Hands is that we're all on the same page um, as far as the um, feeding your baby. And the second big one is sleep. And we get so many questions about um, newborn sleep, in infant sleeping. And again, we have training with a, an excellent um, sleep expert. So you are getting the same constant information um, from every doula that comes to work with you. We all know the same systems. We all know the same reasoning uh, for babies to be a certain way at a certain time. And uh, we do very much count on our sleep expert to bring us up to date on all of her information. Um, the good thing is we're not reading 20 books a year and uh, attending 10 seminars to be able to feel like we're giving you um, the best knowledge on, on these ideas. And um, that's just part of being um, in the, in the uh, Helping Hands uh, doula group is that we, we know that we're giving you the best and constant um, advice, information and resources. And, um, there's, there's very little conflict. doesn't matter which doula you have. We all have been trained the same way. We're all here to support you with your decision. 
And um, that's what I find one of the biggest benefits with Helping Hands is that uh, we're working with really good experts who do uh, training with us on a regular basis. So that is my point of being um, why I like being with Helping Hands. And next, you're going to hear from Carla Murphy. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sharon. And yes, hello. Oh, my computer almost decided to go for a little bit of a dive there. Um, so I have been a doula on and off for quite a few years, recently joined Helping Hands um, on the team approach and have no, yeah, nothing but great things to say about it. And certainly one of the things that has really stood out for me is that um, there's very little chance that you will not be able to get care when you need and, and want care. So for instance, if I had an illness myself or if someone in my family was ill and I wasn't able to make a shift that I had planned with you, then I've got a whole other team of people who like Sharon just was talking about all come from the same training background. You know, we've got very similar mindsets. So you're going to be able to have someone else take that shift for you so you're not left in the lurch without care. Um, and having practiced as a doula in a solo practice, uh, it was certainly a huge stressor for me. And I always felt really bad on the odd occasion when I did have to to do something like that and, and say, you know, look, I've got a family emergency or I'm really sick. Um, and it was much harder to scramble this way. It's, it's much simpler. And like I say, you've got a helping hands doula team member. So you know what you're, what you're getting. It's not some random doula showing up at your front door. Um, and yeah, I think that just gives peace of mind for our clients. And it certainly, uh, gives peace of mind, um, to our team members as well, which I think enables us to be better doulas and be more present for you, uh, when we're there and, and not worrying about things. So. Yeah, I think that's a that's a huge plus from from my perspective. Um, so I am going to pass it on to Mandy to uh, share with you her thoughts. Hi, everybody, and I want to share with you um, the aspect um, similar to Carla as having someone with you all the time and someone having so having someone um, there for you day and night. Um, birthing a baby is something where having support is so important and with a doula team you don't have to worry to be alone at any time. We work seamlessly, we um, are taking turns to ensure you always have someone by your side to give you support during labor and delivery. It's like having a tech team of individuals and we are ensuring you feel safe and looked after throughout the entire process. And the same thing after baby arrives. Babies don't go after schedules and neither do our doulas. And because of the team approach, we are ready to assist you whenever you need it. It's, it can be during the day or at night. And um, we are there for you and offer you support through all the challenges and changes that come with having a baby. It's like having a friend available for you almost 24 seven. And we are making sure you never feel alone during this time. With a uh, um, team, back-to-back -back support is possible every day of the week. And with a doula team, it's also possible to have support several days in a row or to have day and night shifts for several days in a row. We are ready to assist you around the clock and want to um, make sure you have the care and support you need. And it's nice to have one doula, but she cannot be there for you all the time. And if you have a team of doulas, um, we are working together to support you. It's like having a team cheering on you and to make the journey better. So having a doula team is a big win. And next is Laura, a birth and postpartum doula of our team. Thanks, Mandy. Um, so one of my favorite aspects of working with Helping Hands is the amount of support that I have through this team approach. Um, when we arrive to your home ready to support, we're not just bringing our own knowledge and experience to you, but an entire team's knowledge and experience. Uh, for example, perhaps um, your baby is really gassy and we're trying to help relieve the discomfort. Uh, perhaps I might come with a few tips or suggestions that may help, like uh, doing bicycle kicks with baby for some immediate relief. But I don't have to stop there. With my team behind me, I can connect with them in real time through our chats. 
um, our group chats or wait until our next meeting to discuss um, the, the situation um, or, or what was experienced and talk through how else we can help you and your baby. They might come back with a different perspective or focus on a different aspect that I might not have considered. Um, so this is a huge support to me as a doula as I will never know everything, um, but I have a family of doulas who have had different experiences, different knowledge, and additional educational backgrounds that, um, that complement mine as well. And so as we support each other, this makes us an even better support for you. Um, so yeah, short and sweet, um, and I will pass it on to uh, Christy, uh, a birth and postpartum doula as well. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for that intro, Laura. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am doing birth work as well as postpartum work here with Helping Hands. Um, and one of the, the things that I love about this team is that uh, we're able to support each other, not just with um, tips and tricks like and uh, sharing additional knowledge and things like that, like uh, Laura mentioned, but also supporting each other like emotionally in this work. So I don't think any about any one of us comes to this work lightly. Like we all do this because we feel really strongly about helping families through this, these um, momentous times of becoming um, new parents. And with that can come some really intense, um, you know, emotional experiences for us as well um, as we support our clients and that can take uh, a toll on us if we're not able to like reach out to other people who understand. And there's, uh, you know, a big reason for doulas leaving the profession is is burnout. And that has a lot to do with this um, not being able to really express our, our experiences. So we have our weekly meetings um, and we also have our own group chat where uh, we're able to talk to each other and say, look, guys, I just went through this and... Um, even if like everything turned out okay and we supported our client to the best of our abilities through the a situation, like it can still be just something that you need to process, right? And so always having people around that we can process makes us healthier doulas and it also helps us to stay in our chosen career for a longer period of time. And for that, I'm super grateful. So thank you, Helping Hands. Um, next, I believe is Jessica, is that correct? Jessica Johnson, our lovely Jessica. So please uh, take it away, Jessica. Thank you, Christy. Um, my name is Jessica. I am a postpartum doula here at Helping Hands. Um, I love what everyone had to say about um, our team. It's, it's so great um, and it's all true. Um, I guess, lastly, I wanted to cover <clears throat> uh, one of the benefits of going with a team uh, doula support is uh, personality styles. So uh, in the world, there are many different kinds of people and that's true of our team as well. And we embrace that. Um, so as much as uh, we really value and adhere to like consistency with information, and the level of support that you're going to be getting. Um, we like the fact that there's a variety in uh, the, the team and how we, how we work as individuals. And um, like I said, our personality styles. Um, and it's sort of like, you know, variety of, is the spice of life. So um, what I've found can be really nice for families. And I know this because they have talked to me about it. Um, having different doulas, uh, come, come into your home and your family and be close with you, uh, is cool because it can change the dynamic. Like every time there's a different person and not that there's going to be a lot of different people. Like we do also, um, uh, try to make sure that your team is, you know, does kind of get narrowed down to uh, two or three people, but um, it is nice. Like maybe you have a doula who's a little bit more chatty or you have a doula who's, you know, more introspective and likes to embrace the long pauses in conversation um, and having those different experiences can 
can be really nice. Um, being a new parent, especially in the early days, is a pretty isolating experience. You're not going to be leaving the house a ton and you're <clears throat> hopefully not going to be hosting. Um, so your home is going to feel a little bit more like a cocoon. And so in that way too, like your social um, contacts will be a little more varied than if you had a solo doula, just the same person coming to you every single time. Um, so that can be nice. Also, we, along with our different personalities, we have obviously like different lived experiences and that is going to um, give us kind of like what Laura was saying, like a different perspective on situations and it is personal work and it's very um, connecting and like emotional. So like every person is going to kind of bring that different flavor of love to, to the work. Um, <clears throat> Another thing I think that's cool about having different people um, in your team is normalizing, getting comfortable with the idea that uh, in your child's life, they will have different caregivers and care providers and that that's okay. Um, and that that is a really beneficial thing to a child to have to know and understand that they can be loved and cared for by different people, mm -hmm. different kinds of people. Um, and then finally, uh, you know, like I said before, our goal is to kind of match you up with people that you feel especially, you know, comfortable with and delighted by. So your team would kind of hone in with time and you have the opportunity in those early days when you're seeing more people than not enough to get insight into matching up with, you know, a primary, secondary and like third doula. Um, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, and I think I'm the last one too. Thank you so much for listening and for joining us tonight. Thank you, Jessica. And for everybody, such great transparency in terms of what it's like to be working with us at Helping Hands and what to expect. So that concludes our presentation section for the evening with getting to know more about the team. And now we're gonna move into our breakout rooms. Um, so these are non-recorded, they're private one-on-one -on -one, and you get a chance to be able to speak with one or two team members at a time. Um, please stay in your breakout rooms. Um, you will get a little message broadcasted that you'll have a new doula fly in kind of like Mary Poppins right back into your room. So it gives you a quick moment to say au revoir to the doula you were speaking to and then get to meet one of these other lovely faces. Um, if for any reason you're not able to join us, we wish you all the best. If you have any questions, please let us know. But otherwise, um, click the link where it says join your breakout rooms.